Well, this isn't the video I thought I would be making. <laughs> Welcome to another video. <laughs> All righty, friends. It is now day 13 since I injured myself. I would like to say that I was out doing some gnarly ride, but I wasn't. I was at work and it was just one of those freak accidents. I was at one of my client's houses and I had just finished her haircut. I picked up a chair and was carrying it across the room so I could sweep up the floor. And somehow I kind of stumbled and fell into the chair and my knees were forced inside the, the chair and the leg of the chair thrust against my knee and dislocated my kneecap outwards. I immediately fainted and when I came to, my kneecap was 180 degrees on the back side of my leg. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever had any dislocations or broken a bone, but I have never experienced pain like that in my life. I was immediately soaked through with sweat. I was seeing stars. I heard screaming and then I realized it was me. Uh, I didn't know what to do, but in that moment, two things occurred to me. A, that I had just severely injured myself at my client's house and I wanted to get out of there as soon as possible. And B, what does this mean for my cycling? It seems as though lately, everywhere I look, people are getting injured. And I had even thought this Saturday before, like, man, I, I wonder when it's my turn. I, hopefully I didn't put that out into the ethos, but this is what showed up and this is what I'm dealing with now. So as I'm laying there on her floor, I realize I have to get my knee back into place. So I grabbed my kneecap with both of my hands, rolled onto my back and forced my legs straight and I'm screaming bloody murder and my knee popped back into place. I kind of lost consciousness again for a few seconds. After I regained consciousness, I kind of had to sit there for about 15 minutes before I stopped feeling like I was gonna throw up. I was incredibly nauseous. I thought I was gonna faint again. Her husband and her were able to carry me out to my car. And then I attempted to drive myself home because the last thing I wanted to do was have an expensive ambulance ride and I didn't know if my insurance covered it but I couldn't make it that far. So luckily I was able to get myself to the bike shop where my partner works. He rushed me to the emergency room. days of advocating and battling with the hospital to order me an MRI. So after I got my MRI and x-ray results, what the official diagnosis is, is I have a torn MPFL ligament. That is the ligament that attaches your patella to your femur. I also have a slight fracture, a medial fracture of my patella and or slight dislocation still. I'm not able to bear any weight on it. I'm having to rely on a lot of help, but I make a little bit of progress every day. What this means for my cycling, you know, I thought I would be doing this. But instead I'm doing this. I'm just, I'm trying to think positively. I'm trying to think my, keep my mind in a place where I'm thinking about where I'm going rather than where I was, where I want to be rather than where I thought I was going to be. And that's really helping my mental state. Moving forward, I'm gonna be leaning on the YouTube community because I've met so many people. I'm gonna be documenting my rehab. Uh, content. It would be so helpful for any of you to leave some comments below. Let me know what content you want to see over the course of the next month or so. 
if it's what I eat in a day. I got oats in my teeth. What exercises I'm doing to kind of maintain fitness in my body. It's a good core workout kind of right here. And I, look, I can still do this. <laughs> hey, look, I can still do a dorky Aaron dance. Oh, she is broken. And we'll just kind of stay positive. I have a huge cycling project for Sister Bikes where Lindsay and I are taking on a pretty big ride at the end of August. So right now that is my goal, that I want to be back on the bike and able to complete my ride at the end of August, beginning of September. So I wanna thank you to everybody for your support, your well wishes for everyone that's been showing up on Instagram and on YouTube. Please let me know what content I can make for you and I will be happy to do that. I got a lot of time on my hands. What the heck? Journey back to the bike, 2022. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you soon. Thank you so much.